Okay, it's Roski. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is for you. I want to present to you a um, very complex stretch, actually more of a stretch sequence that I like, that I thought I'd share with you today. Uh, again, adding some variety and I think probably quite a bit of a challenge to your workouts. So this is known as the Cossack. And um, watch along, follow along, and keep in mind that I've already spent up to 20 minutes doing one repetition of this stretch, including both sides of the body. So follow along, be very careful of the knees. Whenever you have a leg in this flex position, you don't want the knee folding in. And ideally, you don't want the knee extending out past the tips of the toes. Keep those points in mind. And we're going to work into this rather gently. We'll start by just shifting the weight side to side with a wide stance. Bring the hands down. Start to lower down. You may want to adjust the width of your stance, the angle of your toes pointing in, pointing out, pointing in or out. And where we're coming to first, descending to your right, turning those left toes up. And really not trying to stretch, but release letting the body sink in here. Release through the breath. <sighs> Try this for some traction. Press both hands toward the right foot. Pull, I should say, both hands toward the right foot. Notice the stretch that you're increasing as you release. More of a softness. Pull the hands apart. Push both hands toward the left foot. Shift over to the other side. Sink. Applying some traction, pulling towards the left foot. Pushing towards the right. Notice how that little bit of pressure changes the stretch on the inner thigh and in the hamstring. Pushing the hands together. Pushing the hands apart. I'm intentionally moving my hands a little so that you can see what I'm doing. In practice, I would not really do the movement, just exert the pressure. Shifting over. To the other side. And now we really get into the full Cossack sequence. From this pose, begin walking the hands around. See that you've reached a low lunge position, dropping that left knee, untucking the toes, and continue circling the hands around, and now you're circling that right foot around as well. Take as long as you want. When you find a place where you're getting a good stretch, hold there. Breathe. When you come around to being in what's very close to a half Lord of Fishes twist from yoga. Some options here. 
can take hold of that top leg, giving a stretch to the back. You can also tuck the other leg. Give that same stretch to the back. Or I like to say release. As I'm sitting here, I breathe in. That long, slow out breath tells my nervous system to let the muscles of the body relax. Another option here, with that leg extended, coming down onto your forearms. A heart opening variation of fish pose from yoga. Rising up, and we will reverse that entire sequence. Again, taking your time, finding where you're tight, holding, working that area a little bit. Keep your breath very much a part of this. And now we have come back to our starting Cossack pose, the other side. Again, taking your time, starting with the hands, walking around, letting that back foot turn, coming onto the ball of the foot. Coming to low lunge. If you want to hold here for a few breaths, anywhere. Circling around with the hands and now with my left foot. And shifting off of my mat a bit. Taking that relaxation stretch, release in the back. Crossing this right leg underneath. Again. Relaxing the back with the breath. Extend that right leg if you like. Take that variation of fish pose. Opening the heart. Rising up. Taking it back around. Walking both the foot and the hands. Raising that back knee, low lunge. Rotating the body. Finding your Cossack pose.
shift, shift, shift your way up, walk the feet in, rise up, rotate the waist, loosen that waist, And you might have lost sight of my face standing up, but that is our Cossack stretch sequence. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy it.